Okay, let's talk about the structure of the new math and science for a moment. I just want to focus on this one right here. Um, there's, uh, I just had to do this. I had to, you're taking it now. So it makes sense that we do it now. So let's talk about it. Um, no one's taking this test before. This is brand new. The old test is retiring. Who took the old 03? That's retired. Who took the old 03? And the old 03, the old exam, that was the one that had two subtests, like the one that you're taking now, but it had a multi-subject subtest, and that was with history, science, and English, right? And it had a math subtest, uh, just math. Is that correct? And when this came out um, 15 years ago, when they first started to talk about this new type of test, this was really new because previously it was just one big test. And now they were gonna do two separate tests and they were gonna have a special test just for math. And that was a really big deal, okay? And this math test was a challenging test, right? So 15 years ago, that was a very, very big deal. And they, they help teachers get ready for it by sending out a practice exam like two years in advance and. Teachers had the practice test and a lot of study material years in advance before they actually took the test. Is that correct? <clears throat> Maybe teacher, you don't remember, but that's 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 what I recall. Okay. Now, the new test is very different. Uh, for one thing, do you have a practice test? <laughs> is there a practice test? No. <laughs> no. Doug, what, what's going on? Pearson, what's up? No longer sending out practice exams before the actual test. Okay, so so they're they're so look, so they're doing things a little differently now, but this test is structured a little differently. Uh, they take, they they separate, it used to be history, science, English, or language arts, and math. And now they're turning this into a, a history and science exam and a math and science exam. Everyone give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> This one used to be 55 questions. Now it's 60. This one used to be 45 and now it's 60. So you're going from the, so you're going from a total of 100 questions to now a total of if you add these up 120 questions. So so team just real quick if we do the math real quick what is the increase from 100 to 120? 20% we're talking about serious inflation here. Wow, right? That's 20% increase in the questions. It, it, it really doesn't matter the breakdown here. Okay, this is just your math exam. Maybe maybe you, some of you are like, this is the math exam. So just looking at the math, there's a total. How many questions on the math and science exam in total, the, 220, uh, the 278? How many in total? 60. Well, in total, 120 but just the math and science is 60. Is that right, Patricia, right? And the breakdown here, out of these 60 questions, 32 are math and 28 are science. Now, who is, who is like, oh, less math, that's a good thing? Who's like that? I was like, yes, less math. And that is exactly how they sold it to Massachusetts and teachers. They're like, you're going to have less math. And then everyone's like, let's do it. Yeah. But I think what you may be for not realizing is although there may be less math, this is true. There's significantly less math. Okay. The math isn't going to change. You're going to have the same stuff to study. So it's just less math problems, same amount of work, right? Uh, and, and now you have a brand new science test, which was 18 questions, and now is 28 questions. So they were able to increase it by 50%, meaning the new science stuff is, is science um, doubled, okay? Who's taking the multi-subject exam? 
who took this test here, the old one, this one, this one right here, the old one. So now you're going to need to know that science plus 50% more science. <laughs> How do you like that? So you need to know science plus 50% more. Maybe that's a good thing. I think it, I think that this is a this is another way of doing it but ultimately team this is still 20% more. I think that's I think you have to realize that. That is that is that's a lot. So that means that means it's going to be more multiple choice and the essay is going to be a combo. This means it's going to be harder team. This is this I know that I put this in a previous video, a couple of videos before the class. Uh, but but this is a harder test, much harder test. But let's look at it another way. If you were to take the old exams and take all the all, if you were to take the old exams and you were to add up all the words in their in the uh, descriptions of these exams, where they where they have the objectives and who knows what I'm talking about with those objectives long list of objectives, kind of. If we were to take everything from the old O3, okay, we would find that this old O3, the word count was 2,500 words, okay? So when you, when you add up all the objectives, this is, the, this is like objective number 16 for math, and you added it all up, 2,500 words. Okay, fine. If you take the wording on the new 78 and all the ideas that they have in the new 78, you have 5,000 words. You have literally twice as much content. Are you getting this team? Now, I don't think it's any different, any, any harder than the old test. I do not think it's any harder than the old test, but I think that, I think that they're, the thing that's making it harder is they're combined. The science has definitely increased. Okay. And there's, there's, it's wordier. I, I, I just, uh, you're, you're going to be faced with double trouble or double con content here. So these exams ultimately 20% longer. It's going to be more content, especially on the science. This is a harder test. Okay. Now, uh, hold on. Um, from what I've seen so far, uh, these ideas that were on the old math test, right? They're still gonna be on your, your, these ideas are still gonna be present in the 78 exam. You're just gonna only be tested on 30, 32 of these, uh, 32 times you're gonna be tested as opposed to uh, uh, 45. And this section here, this is our multi-subject exam with the, the history, science and language arts, right? You know, remember the, the 55 questions, um, these 18 questions are now going to be 28 questions in science, but it's still going to be the same major areas, life science, you know, physical science, like chemistry and, and uh, physics, earth science, plant, planets, you know, so it's still going to be the same stuff. Okay. All right. So don't freak out. The, the heart of this is the same. Are you hearing me team? The new math and science, the new MTEL 78 is still going to be the overlapping math, going to be the same. And the science section of the multi-subject, it's going to be more, it's going to be 50% more, but overall, overall, it's going to be the major, major ideas. So what does that mean? It means that if you're trying to get ready for this new math and science test, you can use the O3 for now to help you. Thumbs up. Uh, you can use the old O3 math to help you. And if you're, if you're, if you're working on the science, you could use the multi-subject um, O3 to help you because there will be some overlapping ideas. There'll be a lot of new stuff too, but that's the reason why you're taking the class. And, and that's, that's the reason why, you know, there's all these vocab ideas so that you, you go through these ideas, the vocabulary that's on the new exam you get some of this language under your belt. Same thing for science too. This, this science section is going to be a lot more closer to the 64. Where are my 64 teachers? 
64 teachers, where are you? So, so 64 teachers are going to have another, uh, another area to study. Okay. I'm going to do that intro right after I finish this intro, but, um, uh, there is, uh, there, this is a lot closer to the 64. So 64 teachers, right? This is a great science list. It's a short one. Okay. But this is for 64 teachers. This is also a good primer for what you, you should, you should take a look at. Do you understand 64 teachers? Like this would be the starting point 64 teachers. Can I get a big guess? Yes, maybe. Okay. So, so you're going to use this, you're going to use this vocab and the class to go through some of these ideas that are going to help you in both the math and science sections of these exams. Um, now, Patricia had a question. Patricia, what was your question again? Patricia, are you still there? I remember your question. Do you? Patricia said that she passed the multi-subject. So, so here's the deal. If you pass the multi-subject, that means you pass the, the math, uh, I mean, sorry, you pass the uh, Patricia, history, science, and uh, ELA exam. Is that correct? If, if you pass the multi, uh, uh, oops, multi, that's fine. Then Patricia only needs to pass one of these exams to be done. So if she's passed the multi, good for her, she did it. That's a yay on this test here. Then she needs to pass this new test here, right? Or these others, but but here's the thing, Patricia, okay? And, and Amelia and Kaylee, Kaylee, anyone in that same position, um, out of these exams here, let me, let me enlarge this so it's it's very visible. Okay, she's passed this. She passed this. The O three. The which one is uh, easier, the seventy eight or the sixty eight? Which one? Uh, Marissa, I can talk about that in a little bit. Well, at this time, the seventy eight might be a little harder because it's a new test. The 68 is a harder math test. That's definitely a harder math test. You know, that's going to be a harder math test. And the 65 is a much harder math test. And the 63 is a looter, a very hard math test. So technically, out of these options here, and the 77 is just like a harder version of the 78. So what I'm trying to say is for Patricia, they're giving her five options. You can do A, B, C, D, E, <laughs> but B, C, D, and E are harder. Do you understand? Maybe. So really, these may not be options for teachers. So really, they're really only giving you one option. Okay. Okay, what about this one right here? Now, what if uh, uh, you, you pass the math? Obviously, who passed the math? Anyone in that spot? Or, or, or this, this next column, this is important. This next column is for teachers that if you pass the math, if you pass the math, or you, you, missed, uh, you, you missed the multi. Who missed the multi-subject? Who did not pass the multi-subject? Okay, so this is for teachers that either pass the old math or miss the multi-subject. What they're saying is if you pass the math, you still need to retake the math and science, uh, or you still need to, I'm sorry, you still need to take the, uh, they're saying um, you should, you could, you could, you don't have to, but if you pass the math, you're gonna still have to take two new exams. Isn't that what this is saying? I mean, it's giving you other options to do this, but you're going to have to pass this and this, or you're going to have to take this and this. So basically this one is saying, take the new exams or versions of this or versions of this. So basically, if you passed your O3 exam, but did not pass the multi-subject, 
you are in trouble. You're going to have to take at least two exams. Okay. All right. A team who's in that spot where you have to take two exams. Patricia, you got it easy. You only have to take one. Who has to take two? Who has to take two? Elena, Jackie, anyone else? Looking at your comments here. Who else? Nina. And uh, okay, that stinks. Yes? It does. Team, there's a big learning curve. And when, they really restructured it. The way that they structured it this time, it's not just an upgrade. It's, it's not just a revamping. Uh, what they did was they restructured it in a certain way where thousands of teachers are going to be impacted by this. Meaning, even if you already passed the math, they're still going to make you do two other exams. And I don't think that's cool. Right? Who hears me? This is, this is totally bogus, in my opinion. Okay? Because they're, they're, they're basically saying that that math exam that you've been struggling to pass and finally did pass, it's not going to save you. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of reasons. When they were reformatting the new exam, they did not know that there was a pandemic coming. So it's just uh, something that's happening that uh, they were planning to do anyways, and the pandemic came and, and uh, the good, th this, this, all this, all this new stuff that you're doing right now has been delayed for two years. This was supposed to come out in 2020. So, so that, so you had a two year grace period and it's over. Okay. All right. Um, team, I know this, you're going to go through this slide very carefully, but do you understand if, if you pass the multi-subject, you have to pass one of these. If you didn't, if you pass the math or did not pass the multi-subject, you're going to have to take uh, these ones right here. All right. Now, who is feeling like, whoa, this is a lot, and I'm not so sure what to do? <laughs> okay. Now, let's go back and let's talk about how to win.